it is getting very scary for people who are currently in Shanghai's lockdown as now some people are suggesting that there is foreigners <laughs> I swear, I wish I was making this up. What earth, people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sidela and this is being today we'll talk about everything life in China. So if this is your first time ever visiting my channel, please make sure you subscribe to not post notifications and do not forget to follow me on all my social medias. My links are in the description box below. If you are regular, hi, welcome. Uh, this week's shout out is going to the comment that will be displayed on the screen here. So thank you so much for being a regular commenter and commenting on my videos if you guys want to get a shout out just comment down below and i'll get you guys a shout out as you guys know um with the current uh, situation that is in china obviously the covid situation i know some of you guys are like covid why is that ciao we're still dealing with that in 2022 but um in order to obviously try to reduce the situation what's the english word guys you can put down the english word for that in order to mend the situation i english is not my first language so in order to something the situation the government obviously has um, started putting a down lockdowns uh in down lockdowns <laughs> in different places as shanghai has uh, the biggest lockdown i think ever since shanghai is the new wuhan darling i shouldn't be making jokes about this we are seeing a lot of stories actually coming out of uh, that and a particular story that i actually wanted to talk about is of this uh chinese man a chinese person who uh said in their group chat oh if we don't have food let's just eat this black person <laughs> child believe it or not i actually recorded this video about like two weeks ago a week ago i don't remember when i recorded this but i lost the footage now i only have the audio i don't have the footage anymore because shout i'm getting old so first of all i will read this uh story to you guys and obviously i'll go react and obviously after that i'll actually give you guys a little bit more of my commentary uh, so uh, the title of this uh, uh, article is say hungry Shanghai men suggest eating their black neighbor with food with food shortages becoming an issue and people getting hungry one person in the neighbors group chat suggested to others that they eat their black neighbor who was living on their thing on their seventh floor so obviously uh, they have like group buys where they buy food together in those group chats so if you are in a building or if you are in compound I do not know how exactly they do that so they actually put people together in the same building and they just uh talk about all the food and everything else so this is why they were in that group chat together if you guys were wondering so in the midst of the lockdown chaos in shanghai and and one one visa <laughs> one visa and disturbing which i wouldn't say disturbing but this is what this article has deemed it to be. We shall exchange from one of the now common building groups have set up went viral. And it a, a man suggests eating his black neighbor. So uh, this is actually an interview where they interviewed the, the person who uh, they wanted to eat. So the man at the center of it, an American teacher from chicago to get his take on the incident so they asked him do you know 404 404 is the person who's like i assume he's on the fifth floor uh and he said that they don't know each other so it's actually funny to me that this person was making jokes about the person who they don't know usually i just make jokes uh with my friends i don't i don't i don't make i for me if to avoid people misunderstanding me sometimes i do make uh, jokes with strangers as well but to just play it safe i usually just make jokes with uh, friends it's it's safe that way especially with the kind of culture that we are in because we are like a for obviously we are a foreign community so i avoid making unnecessary jokes with other people so i usually don't make jokes i don't make jokes about i try not to make jokes about chinese people i try not to make jokes but russian people i try to be really respectful i try not to joke about them um and then they said what was your initial reaction when you suggested eating 
you. <laughs> so he said, to be honest, a part of me thought it was a joke, which, um, yeah. And another part of me thought that he could be serious, especially during this time in Shanghai. Yeah, if if you are really hungry, I'm pretty sure you can do anything. Like, I don't know, chow. I would eat a person too. I I don't know. I'm if if I'm really really hungry to the point of really really hunger, I think I would eat a person too. Like, I don't know, guys. Hunger just makes you do anything. And I don't know if this is wrong to say, but we've. We've seen what uh, some people tend to eat. I mean, there are videos on videos on videos on videos of people uh, actually eating stuff that we don't understand. And I think some people actually eat those things just to scare a lot of us. So you you might be thinking like, yeah, he could be eating me. I don't know. <laughs> and um. So how did you take the comment? And he said, I take the comment as being more so ignorant than being racist. Unfortunately, in China, some people don't know that this com comments like these have racist undertones. Yeah, because one, first of all, yeah, a lot of people do tend to be ignorant. I do agree with that. Some people just don't know what to say. It's not their fault that they don't know what to say. You probably have never be interacted with any foreigners before, and maybe it's just stuff that you've been told by people who actually have never even interacted. With. So you just get that. So people just say really weird stuff to you. A lot of people just tend to say just we weird, bizarre shit stuff where you just where you hear them and you're like, do you even listen to yourself? I do. Uh, a lot of people do say that. But this particular situation, I think what's interesting, uh, not interesting as such, but what's wrong with this particular situation is obviously this was the only, only foreign neighbor in this, um, not, not even, I don't want to just say foreign, like neighbor in their house, in their whole building and you resort to making jokes like that. Maybe this is something that you're just like, it, you just need to just a little bit just a little bit just just a little bit you just need to you don't need to use like too much common sense you just need to use just a little bit of it so that's how i'm just like mm. but i do agree though that some people do not recognize that this situation or some of the things that they are saying uh maybe they this they don't recognize that maybe this is a kind of joke that you put you, you, you serve in the drafts like that. Mm, did you address that? Yeah, I addressed the situation. Uh, I don't want to. Some of the things I don't want. I don't want to re really record. I don't. I don't really want. I. I mean, some of the things that are on here. I don't think they are very important. Um, that's like a hashtag that was going on. It's hashtag don't eat me. So yeah, this is um. This is uh, this is like uh, the whole article and then he goes on to talk about his, this has given him so much joy and all that so when i was actually thinking of this situation i remember first time i saw this article not this article but this story i just saw the chat i didn't i have to think about the situation and obviously i didn't hear other people's opinion in this particular situation so i was thinking like oh my god this is so terrible because obviously when you when when you look at the optics uh, they kind of looking very 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 terrible, but at the same time realize Also that some people just make these things. I'm not excusing this joke This is a joke that you obviously should have kept it in the draft somewhere very close by trying to Excuse this uh, situation or this kind of behavior. I'm just trying to explain it so that you guys maybe get um, uh, an idea of what I think maybe happen people obviously don't maybe don't know how to interact so it's like the situation where you just grow up you never meet any foreigners before this is maybe the only for the only for imagine that was the only foreigner in the building i might as even go as further as to just assume it was the only foreigner in the whole apartment i'm i'm, I'm just assuming but obviously i do not know those things so yeah sometimes there could just be the one foreigner you do not know anything about it and yeah so you never meet anybody so you do not know how to address some of the people respectfully to us um i mean even before i i didn't know i, I didn't know chinese people before either i 
I think I would have <laughs> I would have probably make this some kind of joke guys let's be honest we would have probably made a similar joke be honest <laughs> we all we obviously we all make jokes about each other and other people is it wrong is it right no is it, is it right is it right no so yeah that's what I think it's it's not like a very terrible situation that can ever happen to a human being where people are just uh, like oh my god racism cannibalism whatever guys there's no way I'm pretty sure there was no way that they were gonna eat this person that was not going to happen there was no way that they were going to eat this person this is what I just think yes it's a very bad joke that it maybe should have been kept under the ribs it should have been kept somewhere deep deep down deep deep down your traps i don't know there are terrible situations that have happened and so whenever a, a thing that is slightly slightly leaning to the other side happens uh, people just tend to overreact that's what i think i obviously i when i say it to myself i i overreacted too but i just had to think about it I was like, I was like, yeah, it's not very terrible. It's not like they were killing people or something like that. That is actually watch another video where the creator, I will try to link it here, where the creator was actually saying that it seems like people have grown numb to situations like that. Maybe that is true as well. Maybe I've become numb as well to situations like that where I'm just like, ah, it's just a joke. I think I've gone to a situation as well. Maybe I'm just assuming I've gone to a situation where I'm just like, okay, hit me with your best shot. You, it's just a joke. Is it a good joke? Uh, no. Is it a funny joke? That can be argued. I, I think it's not, but it depends. Do you guys find this funny at all? Do you guys find this racist is it the most terrible thing that can happen to a human being i don't know i'm not trying to make light of the situation again i just should uh, explain to you guys i'm not trying to li make light of the situation but i'm i'm just thinking there could be terrible situation that can happen to a human being and this kind of joke is maybe not the most terrible thing that can happen to a human being that's what i think about the situation but anyway you guys can let me know what you guys think as well do you agree with what i was saying do you guys um not agree at all are you guys kind of on the fence like i am guys we've reached to the end of this video thank you so much guys for watching if you guys like this video obviously leave the like here and also subscribe if you guys haven't yet subscribed and also share this video with your friends family and your cousins